I have two confessions to make. The first is that I would rather be stung up by my thumbnails than speak in front of a group of people. <laughs> the second is that I am a glutton for punishment. The truth is, no one on the stewardship committee asked me to speak this year. I figured I was off the hook. But as I was listening to David Campbell's words a few weeks ago, some thoughts occurred to me and I couldn't get them out of my head. I felt compelled to share them with you, so I asked Paul if I could say a few words today. David Campbell spoke of the three T's, time, talent, and treasure, and the value of giving those three T's to God. But I think that there is a fourth T that is equally, if not more, important. And that fourth T is trust. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus teaches us about trust in the Lord. He says, look at the lilies and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing, yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and gone tomorrow, won't he more surely care for you? Now, I would imagine that this passage is probably familiar to many of you. But then Jesus goes on to say something that I think is very significant and often overlooked. He says, God your Father will give you all you need from day to day if you make the kingdom of God your primary concern. Everything we have comes from God. The substance that made this building, the energy that heats it, the flowers on the altar, the very air we breathe. And yes, our time, talents, and treasure. Our three T's also come from God. If we jealously hold on to the gifts that God has given us, then in effect, we are saying that we don't trust him to provide us with what we need. Conversely, if we give back to God what he has given us, then we are showing our trust in him. It becomes what we call in science a positive feedback loop. God entrusts me with time, talent, and treasure. I show him that I trust him by giving back to him. He knows that I will share the gifts that he has given me, and so he can trust me with more of those gifts. And on and on it goes. In my own life, I have found that the more generously I have given of the time, talents, and treasure that God has given me, the more richly he blesses me. And now, on behalf of the Vestry and Stewardship Committee, I would like to invite everyone to prayerfully make a commitment to support Christ's ministry in our parish in 2015. You can show your commitment by filling out one of the pledge cards that are in the bulletins, by folding it, and then when you are ready, bringing it forward and placing it in the offering basket here in front of the church. As you consider your commitment, I leave you with a question to ponder. How much do you trust the Lord your God, from whom all blessings flow?